Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com here with another 100,000 gold budget build for the Elder Scrolls Online, but this time it's a PvP Magic Sorcerer. If you don't know, this month you can earn 100,000 gold simply by logging in daily and collecting the login rewards. You'll want to use this build as a starting point for no champion point PvP content such as Raven's Watch Cyrodiil campaign, Battlegrounds, and no CP Imperial City, and then progress with Mythics, Monster, better traits, better gear, enchants, and so on. The Magic Sork excels right out of the box. No Psychic Order, no Mages Guild, with a simple 100,000 gear setup and you're good to go. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the progress of me discovering the sets and what to use, and what I came up with and why, and also the most important thing, gameplay or narration of what's actually going on in my mind and how I actually play the build. Is this the best in the slot Magic Sork PvP build? Absolutely not, but even in high MMR battlegrounds, I held my own, and you can too with 100,000 gold from daily logins. Buckle up, Magic Sork PvP. Frag out! Okay, so without further ado, let's build 100,000 PvP Magic Sork intended for Raven's Watch No CP. So step one, I'm going to get Tamriel Trade Center open here. All right, Tamriel Trade Center, most of y'all know this is uh, the real good site that you can buy stuff. Buy stuff, yeah. We're going to go with willpower weapons first. We're going to go flame staff. We're going to go for sharp. And if it's super expensive, we're going to go with precise trait, even in PvP. But I doubt it's expensive. Per size, baby! Boom! 3K! Alright. So we got one weapon down. That's the precise staff. Now let's go ahead and try to find a resty bestie. 946 gold. Okay, so we have our weapons. Now let's do ancient grace. All right, ancient. Oh, there we go. Grace for 5,000. Okay, we're good there. Okay, now we have. Let's go ahead and equip this. Let's get Nakey Bakey. Okay, 2,000. Two Oh, one down. Oh my god. 300 for legs. Big legs. 300 for impen. Sold his gaming. Feet. Bang. Got it. Oh yeah. 7,000. That's the cheapest one, believe it or not. Now we're down to shoes. Booty boots. 300. Okay, so now we have a five piece crafted out fix. We have a three piece ancient grace, and then we have two willpower. So all we need to get left is the head and shoulders. Paladron. Oh, man, it's going to be tough without Gaze to set this. Okay, so we got a heavy shoulder, and then we need to find a helm now. Helm, helm. Yes! 800! <laughs> we got two-piece trainee on, jacked up traits, and jacked up enchants. We got five-piece crafted out fix, fleeks on fleek, and then we got three-piece ancient grace, and then three uh, two-piece willpower. If you look at my max stats here, they're juice! Okay, so now the finished product of the build. What I'm going to use is pretty much what I use except one change from my normal loadout. Front of the bar is Streak, used for mobility and CC. And then you have the Crushing Shock Crystal Fragments loop. Using your Crushing Shock as your main spamble from Rejection Staff skill line and Crystal Frags as a bursting tool when you hear and see that proc sound firing off a frag cheaper and harder hitting. Then you have Mage's Wrath, which is our Execute, 20% health or below it blows up within four seconds so you can front load this when they dip below bang it kills them this is your killing blow machine and then ultimate wise i go with the greater storm atronach you don't have to use mage's guild but it is very advantageous to use mage's guild if you can get it however storm atronach really really is good you just set it on top of an opponent it's made for dueling per se rather than big open world fights but it'll get you by to start then i changed up one skill on my bar and that's the three key i used another shield dampening magic this comes from the light armor skill and is the other morph of harness magic and the reason i take this and i put it on my three key is oh crap i was getting a little bit of lag this was on pceu where the footage is so kind of like you you might experience a little bit of lag so i double barred a shield two different kinds in the exact same spot so no matter what bar i'm on no matter if i'm getting lag and i can't reliably bar swap i can survive it's very very important to do consider this a flex spot if you get more skilled and you're able to bar swap more frequently back bar i changed a few things up i like critical surge here for the major sorcery buff it gives a little bit of healing but really 33 seconds of spell damage increase frees up tri potions for us so we can use those for a burst heal and extra stamina sustain my number two key is a flex spot here 
and this is blinding flare from the Alliance War. What this does is just simply slotting it gives us major protection. So when we're on a back bar and people are beating the crap out of us and we're trying to heal ourselves, we're trying to shield, this will protect our life and is very, very important. Plus, it's a good counter gank. What I'd recommend doing is putting Haunting Curse back here if you do not struggle with survivability or you're able to get better gear sets. That way, you'll still have two shields up and you'll have another damage tool that you can use on your back bar. Next ability up is Hardened Ward. Survivability when our health dips or we're about to dip. It stacks on top of dampening magic. Very, very good if you have two shields and you can reliably bar swap back here. Rapid Regeneration from Restor Staff. This is just a burst heal over time and does provide a little bit of off healing to allies if you need to. And then Dark Conversion, not to be confused with Dark Convergence. This is the infinite sustain loop. So essentially you trade stamina for magicka. This is why it's really in handy to have different food that gives you a max stat pool once you can afford it. And it also benefits choosing us the Dunmer race. So we get that extra stam pool. So you all want to over sustain in stamina. You'll want to constantly use this to trade over stamina as long as you have about 6,000 or above. You want to have at least about 6,000 or above because you can see C break or you can dodge roll and or both to survive. So don't go below that. But if you're above and you're low on magic, you can just swap it over. Plus it does a nice heal. And then or a resto alt or life giver from the restoration staff alt. So I'm not using a pet here. We're going high shields and high max magic on gear because high max magic affects how strong our shields are and a little bit of our damage. Speaking of gear, let's talk about this. And this is the 100,000 gold setup that I use. I'm going to give you some priorities to focus on, then the gear sets and why. Priority is find any trait, blue or green level, but worry about upgrading the glyphs to at least purple quality. This will give you the best bang for your buck. You'll be able to find the correct traits later on as you get more gold. Well-fitted, impenetrable, infused are all really good, even divines. So focus on the traits of the weapon as the priority in your spending on gold. Always, always, always weapon, gold that out priority number one, where the body pieces don't matter so much. Use the website Tamriel Trade Center for the cheapest options available. Work towards replacing the trainee gear I'm about to tell you with with the suggested items that'll make a big difference later as you progress. Buy better glyphs and food and prismatic specifically on the head, chest, and legs. Now, for the main five piece, Crafties. This comes from elsewhere and it can be obtained to Guild Traders Dirt Cheap. You're going to want to put it on your body. Simply put, it gives us the most max magic. Remember, max magic equals bigger shields, bigger survivability. Armor of the Trainee. This is going to be a two piece. Head, you want to be heavy. Shoulders, you want to be medium to take advantage of the undaunted passive. Undaunted Metal, giving you 6% for max stats across the board. Health, magic, and stamina. Bigger shields, more stamina to channel under a magic. You're going to want to trade this out for Gaze of this one-piece helm that comes from the Antiquities or a shoulder of Damahas or Swarm Mother. And this is pretty much what I use for six months or more on my Magic Sork. Just these sets. Trainee can be obtained from the Starter Zone. Story Smakai, Canarthi's Rue, Bleak Rock Isles. And the reason we're going to use it is it's the cheapest one and two-piece sets that gives us max stat. And it comes in the training trait. Not ideal, but you're going to replace it anyways pretty soon. Now what we're going to use on the jewelry is Grace of the Ancient. This is is going to be Cropsford PvP vendor, also sold on the traders. And then last up is Willpower. People sleep on this set, but it's going to give you a lot of max magic for a two-piece, and you're going to want the sharpened trait. You're probably not going to be able to find it very cheap, so go with the precise and a fire staff on the front. Back bar, go with powered if you can find it, or defending, even infuse with a weapon damage enchant isn't bad. This can come from Imperial City. You can get it from the daily rewards, and I've got one of these for less than a thousand gold. Super, super cheap. So that's going to give us a ton and ton of max stats running trainee, crafties, willpower, and ancient grace. So if we look what I came up with, this is the Sork gear chart. Nothing golded out, everything purple enchants, and I had about 26,000 gold left for food and potions in order to spend this with a bunch of goofy traits. But the main thing is replacing those enchants with purple ones because you'll get a lot of bang for your buck. And when you want to gold something out, prioritize the weapons. That will give you the most optimal setup. 
64 attributes into max magic and I ended up with 44,000 max health in no CP PVP. I got 24,000, just about 25,000 max health and 14,000 stamina, which is a healthy pool that I can swap over for magic with that dark ability. But then I have about 1,800 magic recovery with the major buff running. Spell damage is low, but I'm making up for it in max magic. And so this is a decent setup for 100,000 gold. Couple things with the consumables. You're gonna want eventually get escapist poisons and put that on either your front or your back bar, though they're very expensive. And also you're gonna wanna get essence of health or tri potions. You can get a lot of these free from daily login rewards. So you can purchase them with gold or just log in daily to get a bunch of them. And then the food of choice is Witch Mother's Potent Brew. This is dirt cheap. You can get it extremely cheap and you're gonna wanna do Clockwork Citrus Filet as you progress. The racial choice, I personally like Dark Elf because it gives us a blend of max magic and max stamina. So we hit hard and we have enough to dodge roll and CC break frequently. The Munda Stone, I go with the Mage. Increase max magic by 2000. You can go with a whole bunch of different options here. Even the Atronach and kind of mid max it a little bit. But I like the Mage straight out the box. Um, champion points, which I don't necessarily use for this content, but just in case you wanted to, the Warfare Tree, I go with Arcane Supremacy, Master in Arms, Deadly Aim, and Ironclad. For the Fitness Red Tree, I go with Fortified, Slippery, Boundless Vitality, and Bastion. Now that's the build setup. Let's see how it actually plays inside of Battlegrounds and what's going on through my head, walking you through play-by-play -play narration. All right, let's focus up. I got negate on. I probably should have Atron, but I use a big negate here. Okay, let's see if it can survive. Let's pull back. Okay, now I got a negate. I'm gonna hit negate, streak through him. No pressure on me yet. Okay, I'm gonna put my shield on my back bar just in case. See, so streak him. Here we go. Let's get some uh, stuns on him curse up on that guy. I'm going to do off heal a bit. But look, okay, now I'm taking pressure, so I'm going to hit healing ward and delete it. See? Oh, without gaze of Sith, that's what I get hit for. So, 8300 on an executioner. I was really low HP. That's the problem is, with 24k health, you're going to execute real quick. Here it is. Okay, so let's see if we can survive. See, I didn't even break free fast enough. Oh, man. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have to switch this up. This is not working. I'm gonna double bar a shield Because I'm just getting absolutely melted. So instead of a uh, curse I'm just gonna change that out that way I have a shield on my front bar so I can double shield and then we're gonna swap instead since we have two shields now I might be able to get away with uh, Another thing. So let's try it again. So yeah, this is working a lot better with the shield on my front bar. We've got two kills straight away. Okay. better yeah that guy low low cp there okay let's exchange now so we're going to exchange our resources three four times we're at ten thousand. now we're back up yeah look at that much better resources okay looking good now i got a um atro up let's go up here drop an atro try to kill still this guy Nope, didn't get it. Let's pull back. Just be consistent. We got 28k health on this person. Yeah, you're gonna get blown up, friend. Streak him here. See if I can turn around. Get a fury on him. Okay, now we're low on gas. So we're gonna drop down. Put a shield up quick. And then do one. So I'm at 6,000 stam. So I'm, I can't really do much more. But that really has helped out survivability. Okay, now we got this. I'm gonna throw this on him. Someone's coming around the corner. Yep. So I got my shield. I'm going to roly poly down here. Potion's just about off cooldown, so I'm going to pop that. Get my spell damage buff up. It must like the colode. Yep, this is going to be low HP here. Come on. Come on, ability fire. Jeez Louise. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, poor guy. Okay, now we're going to exchange all of our stam. One, two, three, four, five. And we're still at 6,000, so we can break free. 
And I got way more stamina now. Try to CC him quick. Didn't work. Pull back. Shield up. Then exchange. I'm at 150 alt. So my thought process is here. Wait for a second. Block. Streak. I can't break free now. Tripod's up. Drop a nuke. A barrier, really, bro? I've had to adapt the build to be a little bit more tanky. My route for survivability is going max magic because those sets are really easy to get a hold of. But if you don't break free quickly, you're dead. So this guy's using a proc set, it looks like. So I'm going to hit a resto. So I'm playing defensive here. See, I got 9,000 proc on that. Got him. Okay, good, good. <laughs> they thirsty over here on EU. Get him a glass of water. All right, you with the bow. You got to go. 150 CP. Oh, jeez. I hit you like a truck. Like a hammer. You might want to dodge. Guess not. Sorry. Okay, let's exchange a little bit of magic. Okay, so I'm not relying on restos and being exposed, which is good. See, so like right here, I use a tripod and I can go one, two. So if I'm going to put my shield up, bar swap. I'm going to do atro here and just kind of turtle up if I can. There's one. Shield. Blow them up. Good. Two. They're just going to keep coming to my HR. They're going to eat crap and die. Oh, we got a ganker. Sick. BG ganker. Love it. I don't want to die here. So hold on. So one. I got a resto now. Resto, resto, resto. Okay, now I'll streak them here since they're thirsty on me. Three of them on me. That's it. Okay, one down. Go down. Uh, I'm going to do sork things. I'm not a Templar. Delta, you're not a Templar right now. Okay, so I did sork things and survived. Here we go. This ain't going to go well for you, I don't think. I'm out of resources here, so I'm just going to use a fully charged heavy attack and just kind of calm down. So one, I got a friend with me now. Yep, you're dead. Biden! So shield, potion, shield. Back to my other shield here. There's a Templar with a bow. A bow par? Who does that? Okay, shield up. Now we're going to exchange. When we have a downtime as a mag sword, you should never just sit there AFK as a mag sword. You should be casting a shield... You should be casting a heal over time. You should be exchanging your stamina for something. So, like, right here, they're thirsty, right? Here's three of them. It doesn't make sense for me to fight the whole team. So, I'm just going to go do Sork things. I'm going to shield in the same bar back here. I'm going to go to my old team. Okay, now I'm back to my team. I'm going to exchange my stamina for Magica. Get a shield up preemptively. Another exchange. Okay, now we're all together as a team. Here we go. I'm just going to exchange, exchange, exchange. Oh, we got a Sweat Lord on here. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, Flare down because I know there's a Sneaky Sneaky. Just destroying everybody. Try to get him here. Um, he dodged my Endless Hill. There we go. Got him. Now I'm in trouble. So I'm going to pull back. Crit Surge. Looks like two of them. Low health bar. Ah, uh, they got him. Dang it. Okay, so it's 2v1 up here. Now we got another friend with us. Shield up. Do a dodge roll because I'm taking some pressure. Okay, shield up. Oops, fell off like a noob. There we go. I'm going to exchange. They're putting their bugs up. They're a warden, so I know they're going to try to nuke me with bugs. So that's why I'm strafing like this. I can face tank probably most of their damage with Atro up. Yep, he's going to get burnt to a crisp. Atro came up. They're just going to roly-poly out, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, exchange our resources quick. So you see how I'm doing this constantly? Try to give a little off heal to our friend. Okay, off heal's good. I'm gonna put a shield up. Gotta make sure I keep those shields up or I'm dead. There we go. Good, looking good, looking good. So this is 1900 CP. These are folks that are familiar with PvP. Okay, now starting to rock. Okay. So I'm gonna do off heal. This guy's got some damage on him. So let's put our flare up here. He tries to gank me. We can't allow that to happen. Also, we got to have our shields up with the Nightblade with this much damage. Okay, shield up. They're going to try to gank me soon. I know I can just feel it. Put a fur Fury on him. Got him. Fury. And then, remember, no, you should never just be idle here as a sword. So I'm going to Dark Convergence a bunch. Then I'm going to use a tripod. Now I'm back up to full resources across the board. Shield up. Okay, shield. Got a bow, bow par here. Zapped him. Okay, pull back. Low HP. It's the whole team, though. I'm going to streak. That's what I need to work on last time is my mobility. Okay, their green team's coming up. Uh, I'm just going to try to let them engage each other for a minute. Fall off. 
Okay, got him. Oh, you better not lose to me, Templar. You better not lose to me, Templar. I'm sorry, friend. I love you. I hope you're watching the stream. You gotta watch Delta for all your builds, though. Here we go. Drop a nuke on him. I'm gonna hang out here. I don't think they can kill me very easily. Okay, so my buffs are up. Um, buffs, buff, 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 buffs. I'm gonna streak away and just kind of hover there. Oh, low health bar. I'm on the wrong bar, you idiot. Frag him and bag him. Yes! Okay, pull back. Shield up. Second shield up. That's a low health bar. Gotta go! They're not breaking free of CC, so I'm gonna tab target them here. I know it's caught toxic, but we gotta go for lambs. Okay. Now, I'm low on gas here, so I'm gonna bar swap. I'm gonna try to get a fully charged heavy unless they attack me. Okay, we're good. Oh, that rat. <laughs> this thing hits decent, too. Oh, they coloed me, dang it. Okay, so now we gotta be careful because we got that debuff on us for about 12 seconds, I think. So we gotta be careful on the damage we take. Okay, so there's our whole team right here. I'm gonna streak them after that. Try to get close and then just pull back. My team, I don't know where they are, so I'm gonna exchange some resources. You see how they're just eating the Atro? They're just not really aware of how powerful it is. So I'm gonna try to save, stay alive. And we got a streak or we're dead. Shield up. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. Let's go down below. See if uh, I can get one more streak. There we go, there we go. Now I just gotta buy some time. Hide behind mushrooms. One in doubt, go Morrowood. Uh, Kujar said, I guess you made uh, Svotorista play ESO. We're actually playing tomorrow. Uh, I don't stream and usually work on YouTube videos, so yeah. Hey, okay, stole a kill, so the Max Orcs are getting the kills on this one. We gotta win this one. No losing, no taking L's. Come on. Team, y'all gotta play off me. Got him. Um... Okay, let's we'll drop this here. Got him. Pull back. Oh, they're one kill away. Come on, gang. Come on, come on, come on. Low HP, we gotta get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get the bird healer out of here. Do not die back there. Yeah, it's coming in. Clutched it! Clutched it, baby! <laughs> Zero death! Give it up for your boy! We clutched that in. Come on, that was good. <laughs> Well, gang, that's a 100k budget build for PvP. So let me know if you like this. I'll do a stam version and we can do other things like tanks and healers and whatever y'all want to see, just leave in the comments. You'd like to see more PvE ones, we can do that too. So I was shocked at how good this worked towards the end. At the beginning, it definitely did not work and I was getting melted. So just like any build, you have to work through it and find out what works best for you. The biggest change that I made was putting that shield on the front bar. So if I was laggy, if I was confused, if I was getting flooded, I could always hit that ability. But you can strip it off, do some other things. You get more proficient at bar swapping and don't give up on the Sork if it doesn't come natural right away. The Mag Sork can do freaky powerful things, but it definitely is not easy and not beginner friendly like the Templar because you can't just face tank. You have to constantly cast six second buff your shield or you will die. I hope you got something out of this. Like, subscribe, and leave me a comment on what next budget build you would like to see. Thanks for watching.